A few years ago, I built a helper fan for our solar inverter, and as I'm about to demonstrate, it uh, has a couple flaws, one of which is it's rather loud, and the other is that it does not direct the air well, and we've come up with a solution for that. And here we go. As you can see, noise wasn't the only problem with the with the uh, current fan bar, and yeah, it was hard to clean. He went with a vacuum cleaner and toothbrush and whatever to really get it clean. You had to disassemble it, which is yeah, not the best. This is the existing fan bar I've been using on my solar inverter, and well, uh, one of the issues is it's kind of loud, and so my son came up with a new design. Uh, a single fan and I think it's going to be a lot quieter but let's compare apples to apples in this laboratory setting if you will so we can get uh, a fair comparison of both of them okay so I will uh, power it up with the uh, maximum voltage that the solar panels supply and this is the new one the microphone is the same distance away, same parameters, and we'll hear the difference. This is the prototype of the part that's actually blowing on our inverter right now as we speak. Again, this is the uh, one of the pieces that got us to where we are. You can see the blower head with the nozzles in it. And then the uh, this is where the air passes through it, and of course a slide together connector. We'll push that out of the way a little bit. This is the most interesting piece. This is where the fan mounts, and we've changed the design. This was originally designed to have a, uh, a voltage regulator that looks like this, and then there would be a hole that uh, we'd drill a hole down through here and stick the top of the. Uh, voltage regulator into the airstream so that way it would keep it cool and it would not need a heat sink um, let's see what else okay so I already set the fan is there the design we went with uh, actually uses this style of voltage regulator and we made a slot and it goes down into the into the airstream this way it just uh, sticks down in there like that and we also found that if we used a heat sink and put it in there and strap the uh, voltage regulator to it that the I'm getting my fingers in the way uh, that the heat sink would hold it in place even though the heat sink isn't necessary it uh, it yeah it just works as a, a clamp to uh, to uh, hold it in there so we took a heat sink we bent it until it fit into the slot and then uh, yeah it worked out very nicely so that is uh, how it works I will have this uh, posted on uh, Thingiverse or one of those places and we'll put the links in the description below in case you're uh, interested in emulating this. Of course one caution is the old version was aluminum and aluminum doesn't burn very well. This is plastic so you want to uh, take the proper precautions. We put a fuse down here. Uh, that's one precaution. You might want to put a, a thermal switch in here. Uh, in order to uh, know that if a fan was overheating or something or something was going wrong you could just shut it down okay so yeah that that uh, caution should be noted that this is plastic plastic burns and the aluminum one uh, of course didn't have that issue okay so that's everything about uh, the new design